Blake Griffin, finely tuned plastic, shoes that hug your feet, and much, much more. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is The Week in Sneaks. Welcome to the show. Let's get started right away. This week kicked off with news about the KD6 and Nike ID. Seen several times before we got our first official look at the KD6 Bamboo. It released in China already and will actually hit US stores on September 14th. On the Nike ID side, we learned that elephant print is the new thing and you can add it to your Air Max 1 or your Nike Dunk high or low. The Reebok Shaq Gnosis also made an appearance on Monday and we saw it in a few different colorways like the silver and black, but more importantly, this blue and black colorway that we'll be dropping on August 2nd for $115. On Tuesday, things got really interesting with Nike as they released two new shoes and we also found out more about the Reebok and Packer Shoes collaboration. On the Nike side of things, we saw the Nike Flyknit Hyperfeel and the Nike Free Flyknit. Now both represent the next evolution in the Flyknit franchise and present those of us that actually won with some new options. Reebok, on the other hand, joined teams with Packer Shoes for a well-thought-out collaboration on the Kamikaze 2. Now, the shoe is based on Sean Kemp's trip to the Alamo Dome in the 1996 All-Star Game, and the pack will release at Packer Shoes along with the jersey, snapback, and t-shirt. And a couple of you have been asking about the price. However, Packer Shoes has not released the price for the pack just yet. On Wednesday, things took on a decidedly West Coast feel as the stories of the day seemed to revolve around Los Angeles. Brought out by Foot Locker and Under Armour, a lot of the sneaker media made it to Hollywood for the launch of the Gridiron Trainer in the Texans and Falcons colorway. Now, the shoe is a Foot Locker exclusive and it will only cost $100. On the Jordan brand side, the Superfly 2 was officially announced and will actually make an appearance this weekend in the Supernova colorway. The Superfly 2 will be the third time we see the Flight Tech technology, which I definitely liked when it was in the 28 as well as in the Trunner. Look for the Superfly 2 Supernova to drop this weekend for $130. Now Thursday's news seemed to revolve a bit around lifestyle, but there was a little bit of performance in there with news about Adidas, Asics, and the Ewing Focus. On the Adidas side, we saw new colorways of the Spring Blade as well as the Crazy Light 3. It's still crazy me to think that the Crazy Light only weighs 9.4 ounces. On the Ewing Focus front, the release date was confirmed on August 3rd for the Black New York pair as well as the White, Black, and Red pair. And finally, Ronnie let us know that his version of the Asics Gel Light 3 called the Flamingo with the gray and the premium nubuck and the mesh panels will be dropping on August 2nd. And coming in at number one this week is a little light when it comes to releases. And actually, I think I should start doing these release videos on Thursday instead of on the Friday video. But here are some things that should definitely be on your radar for this weekend. As I previously mentioned, the Under Armour Grid Iron Trainer released on Wednesday for $100 in two colorways. The Arctic Green Air Max Hyperposite dropped today or Friday for $225. And on Saturday, we see a bunch of releases with the Air Jordan 3 Dornbacher dropping for $160. The Hyperdunk 2013 in a few colorways for $140, including this Seat Pleasant style colorway. The Nike Air Veer is also dropping in a few colorways for $120. Then there is the Jordan Supernova pack, which has the CP36 for $125 and the Superfly 2 for $130. And finally, the LeBron 10 EXT Black Suede is dropping also, and that'll be $250. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot about uh, Nike SB, the uh, Brooklyn Projects Walk of Fame dunk actually drops this weekend as well, and that's priced at $168. Last week for the question of the video, I wanted to know if you could collaborate with the brand, what shoe would it be and what would be your theme? So here are a few of your responses. OG Shoes said he would take the Reebok Kamikaze 2 mid and do a breast cancer awareness theme. Laws Before Heaven says he would be the Air Pippin 1 with the Megatron theme. I like the idea of that. Uh, Tyler Netnin, I hope I said that right, said he would do the KD6 and put soccer cleat soles on it. Good idea if you like definitely play soccer. And finally, Noah Gilbert says the Nike SB Janowski, all navy suede, white accents, lining, stitching, and laces. 3M reflective strip on the back, white midsole, and a gum outsole. And now we have a heat check. Don't forget to smile. And for this week's heat check, I'm actually rocking the Vans Hyper Stealth. Uh, this is the Linwood. It's a new model. Uh, it's definitely a little higher than I usually like my sneakers, but uh, I, I like this camo print that Hyper Stealth did. And so uh, I've definitely been rocking these. I actually have on the shirt as well. It came with a shirt and they have hats as well for the package. But 
Definitely like this shoe. Uh, I like the camo print uh, and the black and the white. It all balances really well for me. Uh, just something that I like. You don't have to like it, but I definitely like it. Uh, you can get these now. They're available at Vans.com if you want to grab yourself a pair along with like, I think they have some shirts and a hat and a belt and, and all those type of things if those are what you want. But Vans OTW Hyper Stealth and this is the Linwood. Bang, bang. For this week's question of the video, I'm gonna keep along with the design theme. So if you could design a shoe for your favorite athlete, what shoe would it be and what would be the theme? For me, uh, the athlete is Kobe Bryant and I would go back to the Kobe 5 and I would do an AT Alien sort of colorway from Outcast to Outcast album AT Aliens and it would be for All Star. So you let me know who your athlete, what your shoe is and what your theme down in the comments. And of course, I'll read back a few of your responses next week. Well, that is gonna do it for the show today or for this week. Uh, definitely appreciate you watching. If you have haven't already make sure you like favorite and subscribe that way you know whenever something is happening here on this channel and it also helps me out also click down in the description I'll give the full links of all the stories that I talked about today plus some links to the videos from earlier this week well I am your host Jacques Slade this is the week in sneaks I just passed my hundredth video so I'm really excited that's why I have all this excitement in me today uh, as let you guys know I appreciate you clicking here somewhere for something random and I will see you soon peace Yo, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys some extra videos to watch and give you opportunity to subscribe. So while you uh, decide what you want to do, here's some beatboxing. Boom, 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 boom. Subscribe. Boom, 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 boom. I watch a video. Boom, under Armour. Boom, boom, under Armour. Great Iron Trainer. Boom, there's also boom, 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 the video for Monday. Boom, boom. Or you can even watch boom, 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 the weekend sneaks. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. In the mouth.